All right, now, I'm going to tell y'all a story. It's Sunday school. So, like, in the beginning, God created a big old universe like 100 stars or whatever, maybe 200, I don't know. And But he was all lonely, and he's all like, I need me some dang old people in this universe, or who the hell's going to kiss my almighty ass? And so then he's all like, I'm going to make me some humans on this random-ass planet called Earth. And he done it. First, he created man. That was all right. Then he got drunk as hell, created woman too. Ugh, biggest damn mistake. Well, he don't make mistakes. Anyway, Adam and Eve. Things worked out good at first because, you know, Eve didn't have a whole lot to nag about. There weren't no dishes to do, weren't no trash to take out. But being a woman, she's bound to fuck things up somehow, and she went and ate the one goddamn fruit that God said, don't eat that. And, of course, she goes and eats it because, you know, I don't know why. I don't know why. She just all like, you know, God was pissed. And Eve's all like, well, the damn old serpent done made me do it. And God's like, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Long story short, he done kicked Adam and Eve out of the six flags of Eden. They weren't allowed to ride the roller coasters of paradise no more. Soon enough, with nothing to distract them, Adam and Eve had to get to making babies. Had them two kids, Cain and Abel. Now, for some reason, God felt like stirring up the drama pot and showering Abel with praise while he's shitting on Cain all the damn time. So eventualistically, Cain got all tired of it and bashed Abel's head in with a rock. He's all like, man, fuck you. Boom, dead. So God was all like, I seen what you done, Cain. I'm going to punish you. I'm going to punish you by sending you off to a town that exists suddenly and letting you get married and have some of your own damn kids. And Cain was like, uh, okay, yeah, I feel like super punished by that, God. You really, you really showing me, man. And God's like, damn right, you little bitch. Get your ass out of here. So then a bunch more shit happened till you get around the time of Noah. Mankind in general, though, was getting all super dumb and shit and being all like, you know what I don't think exists? That God we ain't never seen or heard of even one damn time. And God was like, well, I guess I could show them that I do exist and tell them what's what, but fuck that shit, I'd rather kill them. So then God was like, hey, Noah, build you a big old boat, man, and it's got big enough for your family and two of every animal on earth. And Noah was like, uh, okay. Home Depot was like, fuck, dude, that's a lot of lumber. What you building? Noah was like, you'll see, you heathen some bitch. Then God drowned everyone on earth except Noah, and uh, they all died horrible deaths suffering and pain even the little babies and shit god just like i don't give a fuck so after a while shit kind of returned to normal noah's family must have been incestualization incestu they, they fucked their own kin man a lot you know because you know it, it weren't no time before the earth was just repopulatized to complete you know all over the place man and that's why i don't even see what the big old deal is when i try to marry my cousin beverly dean you know we all just know as inbred ass babies anyhow. And that's, uh, you know, that's how we got all these damn weird mutant people. You know, like, uh, I don't want to say nothing to offend nobody, but, you know, like, you think someone's supposed to look like this? No, nah, man, that's inbreeding. So God was like, I'm going to have me a kid, you know? And he seen this hot ass bitch named Mary, and he's like, damn, damn, I'm going to hit that right there. So he popped a baby in that bitch. He's like, I don't want to raise this thing. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not the fun part, man. So he said said on to Mary, man, he's all like, tell your husband, Joseph, I just cucked his ass. And he's got a problem with it. And he come up to heaven, kick my ass. I'll be waiting. Joseph was all like, I don't want none of that, God. And God's like, damn right you don't, you little fucking, <laughs> you know. And so Joseph raised up God's kid, and he named it Jesus. And Jesus, I'll be honest with you, he was kind of a pussy compared to God. I mean, his powers weren't as good. Like, he could do some basic-ass magic shit, like turn water into wine. It was like Penn and Teller-level shit, you know? He wasn't, like, creating a universe or flooding the earth or doing nothing super impressive, just like some basic-ass magic. But, you know, people had to act impressed because it is God's kid. Eventually, though, the stupid-ass Romans were like, I don't even think this is God's kid. Let's kill this dude. And they fucking beat the shit out of him, nailed him up on some wood and shit, because that's how the Romans done it. 
It's good they done that, though, because apparently that's what saved us all from the wages of sin and shit. So thanks, Romans, for your uh, inhuman brutality and shit. I guess it just goes to show violence is the answer. Around that time, God created America because uh, he got tired of ruling over a planet of damn weird-ass foreigners and shit. And he said unto the Americanites, you know, y'all's my chosen people. And some liberal cuck was like, uh, what about the Jews? And God was like, nah, they annoyed the shit out of me. You ever seen a Woody Allen movie? They fucking suck. Annie Hall, more like lick my balls. Am I right? And even though it weren't even funny, everyone laughed, you know, to be polite. Because my damn, we knew this motherfucker was crazy. And that's pretty much the Bible, I guess, you know? I left out the part about Moses and Egypt and shit, because I'll be honest, it ain't that interesting. So basically, Moses freed a bunch of Jews from Egypt because they was being forced to build pyramids and shit. And, you know, I don't like to blaspheme, but I do have some trouble picturing a bunch of Jews working construction. I'm just going to be real with you on that one. But I'll be honest, you got to be careful saying that kind of shit because you never know when God might get a wild hair up his ass and just smite you, you know? Like, my daddy, one time he took the Lord's name in vain when he hit his fingers with a hammer, and he was all like, God, God got pissed, man. One, two weeks later, my daddy was sitting on the toilet taking a big old shit, and he, he struggled with a damn heart attack. Man, we found him with a turd hanging halfway out his dead ass. It was fucking gross. Pretty sure my daddy's roasting hell about now, so I'm going to try not to piss this fucking psycho off, man. Probably already said too much. Better just keep my damn mouth shut. But the main point is, you better listen to this fucker's demands because he will send locusts and shit to fuck your day up. You better not even tempt his ass. So, you know, praise God and praise Jesus. You don't want to mess with this dude. Trust me on that, man. He's a fucking psycho. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know I enjoyed uh, sitting here making it, but... Please keep in mind that uh, YouTube doesn't really monetize anything on my channel. I don't think I've had a video monetized for four months, five months now. So uh, it's very much appreciated if you want to uh, support this channel by making a one-time uh, donation through PayPal. Or uh, better yet, join the monthly Patreon. You get all kinds of uh, neat benefits to that. That's all detailed down below in the links. And I want to, once again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.